Top 25 Business Intelligence Analyst Interview Questions and Answers In the competitive field of business intelligence, interview preparation is crucial for aspiring analysts. This video will present the top 25 interview questions that candidates often face, along with expert answers to help you stand out. 1. Can you describe your experience with data visualization tools and which ones you prefer to use? I have extensive experience with various data visualization tools, including Tableau, Power BI, and Looker. Tableau is my preferred choice due to its intuitive interface and powerful visualization capabilities. I appreciate the ability to create interactive dashboards that allow stakeholders to explore data insights dynamically. Power BI is also valuable, particularly when integrating with Microsoft products. My approach focuses on understanding the audience's needs, ensuring that visualizations effectively communicate the data story while enhancing decision-making processes. 2. How do you approach data cleaning and preparation before analysis? Data cleaning and preparation begin with understanding the dataset's structure and context. I start by assessing data quality, identifying missing values, duplicates, or inconsistencies. Utilizing tools like Python's Pandas or R, I perform transformations to standardize formats, correct errors, and handle outliers. I often create a data dictionary to document changes made during this process. This ensures clarity for stakeholders and serves as a reference for future analyses. Keeping an iterative approach helps refine the dataset until it is ready for insightful analysis. 3. Explain a time when you had to analyze a large dataset, what tools did you use, and what was the outcome? In a recent project, I was tasked with analyzing a large dataset containing customer transaction records spanning several years. I utilized Python and its libraries, such as Pandas and NumPy, for data manipulation and analysis. Using SQL, I extracted relevant data from our database efficiently. The analysis revealed purchasing trends that were previously unnoticed, enabling the marketing team to tailor campaigns effectively. As a result, we saw a 15% increase in customer engagement and a significant boost in sales during the targeted promotions. 4. How do you ensure the accuracy and integrity of the data you work with? Ensuring data accuracy and integrity involves several key practices. First, I implement rigorous data validation checks during data collection and processing, such as using automated scripts to identify anomalies. Regular audits and reconciliation against reliable sources help maintain consistency. I also establish clear documentation of data sources, methodologies, and transformations to ensure traceability. Training team members on best practices in data handling fosters a culture of quality. Finally, I leverage version control and backups to safeguard against data loss or corruption, ensuring reliable access to accurate data for analysis. 5. Describe a challenging business problem you solved using data analysis. What was your approach? In addressing a decline in customer satisfaction, I initiated an analysis of feedback data from various channels. First, I aggregated the data to identify recurring themes and issues. I utilized sentiment analysis tools to quantify customer sentiments, focusing on negative comments. After pinpointing key pain points, I collaborated with cross-functional teams to implement targeted improvements in service delivery. Finally, I established a dashboard to monitor customer feedback trends post-implementation, which showed a significant increase in satisfaction scores within three months. 6. What methodologies do you use for data modeling, and why do you prefer them? In my data modeling practice, I commonly employ methodologies such as entity relationship, ER, modeling and dimensional modeling. ER modeling is beneficial for relational databases, allowing clarity in defining data relationships. Dimensional modeling, particularly the star schema, is great for optimizing query performance in analytical environments. I prefer these methodologies for their robustness and ability to simplify complex data structures, ensuring that both technical teams and business stakeholders can easily understand and utilize the data effectively. 7. How do you stay updated with the latest trends and technologies in business intelligence? To stay updated with the latest trends and technologies in business intelligence, I regularly engage with industry blogs, attend webinars, and participate in online forums. Following thought leaders on social media platforms and subscribing to relevant newsletters also helps me gain insights into emerging tools and best practices. Additionally, I take online courses to deepen my knowledge of new technologies. Networking with professionals at conferences allows me to share experiences and learn from peers. This proactive approach ensures I remain informed and adapt my skills accordingly. 8. Can you explain the difference between descriptive, predictive, and prescriptive analytics? Descriptive analytics focuses on summarizing historical data to understand what has happened in the past. It provides insights through reports, dashboards, and visualizations, helping organizations track performance metrics. Predictive analytics uses statistical models and machine learning algorithms to forecast future outcomes based on historical data. This type of analysis provides probabilities and trends. Prescriptive analytics goes a step further by recommending actions based on predictive insights, helping decision makers choose optimal strategies for future scenarios. Each type plays a crucial role in data-driven decision-making.
9. Describe your experience with SQL and how you use it in your daily tasks. My experience with SQL spans several years, where I've utilized it extensively for data extraction, manipulation, and analysis. I regularly write complex queries to retrieve specific datasets, join multiple tables, and perform aggregations. This allows me to gain insights quickly and make data-driven decisions. I also use SQL for data validation, ensuring the accuracy of the information I work with. In addition, I automate repetitive tasks using stored procedures and scripts, enhancing efficiency in reporting and analytics processes. SQL has become an indispensable tool in my daily workflow. 10. How do you prioritize competing projects and deadlines in your work? In my role, prioritization is essential. I begin by assessing the urgency and impact of each project, often using a matrix to categorize tasks. Clear communication with stakeholders helps me understand their needs and deadlines. I break down larger projects into manageable milestones, allowing me to track progress effectively. Regularly revisiting priorities ensures I remain aligned with changing business objectives. Time management techniques, such as the Pomodoro technique, help maintain focus while allowing flexibility to accommodate unexpected tasks or shifts in priorities. 11. Can you provide an example of how you have communicated complex data findings to non-technical stakeholders? Communicating complex data findings to non-technical stakeholders requires clarity and relatability. For instance, I once presented analysis results from a customer segmentation project. Instead of delving into technical jargon, I used visual aids such as infographics and simplified charts to illustrate key insights. I focused on how the findings could impact marketing strategies, using relatable examples to demonstrate potential customer behavior. This approach encouraged engagement and fostered discussions, enabling stakeholders to grasp the implications of the data and make informed decisions effectively. 12. What role does collaboration play in your work as a business intelligence analyst? Collaboration is essential in my role as a business intelligence analyst. It enables me to gather various perspectives and insights from different departments, ensuring that the analyses I conduct are relevant and aligned with organizational goals. Working closely with stakeholders allows me to understand their needs and tailor my reporting to provide actionable insights. Regular communication fosters a culture of data-driven decision-making, where team members feel empowered to share their feedback. This collaborative approach not only enhances the quality of the data analysis but also builds trust among colleagues and stakeholders. 13. How do you handle feedback or criticism regarding your analysis or reports? Receiving feedback or criticism is an essential part of the growth process. I approach it with an open mind, viewing it as an opportunity for improvement. When I receive feedback, I take time to understand the perspective of the reviewer. I ask clarifying questions to ensure I fully grasp their concerns. After that, I evaluate the feedback objectively against my analysis or report. If the feedback is valid, I implement the necessary changes. If I disagree, I respectfully explain my rationale and seek a constructive dialogue to find common ground. This collaborative approach enhances my work and strengthens professional relationships. 14. Describe a time when you had to work with a cross-functional team. What was your role and what did you learn? In my previous role, I collaborated with a cross-functional team that included marketing, sales, and IT departments to launch a new product. My role as a business intelligence analyst involved analyzing customer data and market trends to inform strategic decisions. I learned the importance of clear communication, as each department had different priorities and perspectives. This experience taught me to listen actively and adapt my findings to meet the diverse needs of stakeholders, ultimately leading to a successful product launch and improved team cohesion. 15. How do you approach creating dashboards and reports that meet the needs of different users? Creating effective dashboards and reports begins with understanding the specific needs and preferences of the users. I conduct initial discussions to identify key performance indicators, KPIs, and what insights stakeholders seek. Using this information, I design intuitive layouts that allow users to easily navigate through the data. I prioritize clarity and simplicity, ensuring that visualizations are not overly complex. Regular feedback sessions help refine the dashboards, ensuring they remain relevant and useful as business needs evolve. This iterative process fosters user engagement and satisfaction. 16. What techniques do you use to identify trends and patterns in data? Identifying trends and patterns in data involves several techniques. First, I utilize exploratory data analysis, EDA, to visualize data distributions and relationships through tools like scatter plots, histograms, and box plots. I also apply statistical methods, such as correlation analysis and regression models, to quantify relationships between variables. Time series analysis is essential for detecting patterns over time, especially in sales or web traffic data. Additionally, clustering techniques help segment data into meaningful groups, revealing hidden insights. Data mining algorithms can also uncover underlying patterns that may not be immediately apparent. 17. Can you discuss your experience with ETL processes and tools? 
ETL, which stands for Extract, Transform, Load, is crucial for data integration and preparation. I have worked extensively with tools like Talend and Apache NIFI, allowing for efficient data extraction from various sources. During the transformation phase, I focus on data cleaning and normalization to ensure consistency. Finally, the loading process involves moving data into data warehouses such as Amazon Redshift. This experience has honed my ability to streamline data workflows, enabling timely and accurate insights for stakeholders across the organization. 18. How do you measure the success of a business intelligence project? Success of a business intelligence project can be measured through various metrics. Key performance indicators, KPIs, such as user adoption rates, accuracy of insights, and the impact on decision-making processes are essential. Gathering feedback from users helps assess the relevance and usability of the reports or dashboards created. Additionally, tracking improvements in business outcomes, like increased revenue or reduced costs, serves as a tangible measure of success. Regular evaluations and adjustments based on user needs ensure that the project remains aligned with organizational goals. 19. Describe a situation where you had to make a decision based on incomplete data. What was your thought process? In one instance, I was tasked with optimizing a marketing campaign but faced incomplete data regarding customer behavior. I first identified the critical data points that were missing and assessed how they would impact the decision-making process. I then gathered available data, such as previous campaign performance and demographic insights, to identify patterns. Using this information, I developed a hypothesis and ran a smaller pilot campaign to test my assumptions. The pilot results provided valuable feedback, allowing us to adjust our strategy based on real-time insights while mitigating risks associated with the incomplete data. 20. How do you ensure that your analyses align with the strategic goals of the organization? To ensure my analyses align with the strategic goals of the organization, I start by thoroughly understanding the company's mission, vision, and objectives. Engaging with key stakeholders helps me identify their priorities and expectations. I then align my data analysis projects with these goals by focusing on relevant metrics and KPIs. Regularly reviewing progress and outcomes ensures that my work remains aligned, allowing for adjustments based on feedback. This iterative process fosters collaboration and ensures that the insights generated contribute directly to the organization's strategic initiatives. 21. What is your experience with cloud-based BI solutions, and how do they differ from traditional BI tools? My experience with cloud-based BI solutions includes tools like Tableau Online, Power BI Service, and Google Data Studio. These platforms offer scalability and accessibility, allowing teams to collaborate in real-time from various locations. Unlike traditional BI tools that require on-premise installations and maintenance, cloud-based solutions automatically update and integrate with other cloud services. They also provide better data sharing capabilities and often come with lower upfront costs. Security features are robust, making it easier to manage user access and data privacy. 22. How do you handle data privacy and security concerns in your analyses? Data privacy and security are paramount in my analyses. I ensure compliance with relevant regulations like GDPR or HIPAA by anonymizing sensitive information and implementing robust encryption methods. Regular audits of data access and usage help identify potential vulnerabilities. I collaborate closely with IT and legal teams to understand the organization's security policies thoroughly. Additionally, I maintain clear documentation of data handling processes to promote transparency and accountability. This approach not only protects the organization but also fosters trust with stakeholders regarding data integrity and security. 23. Can you explain a time when you had to adapt your analysis based on changing business requirements? In a previous project, I was tasked with analyzing customer behavior data for a marketing campaign. Initially, the focus was on demographics, but halfway through, the team shifted priorities to target engagement metrics instead. I quickly recalibrated my approach by developing new KP as that aligned with the updated objectives. This involved refining the data sources and incorporating real-time engagement statistics. By presenting the revised analysis, I was able to provide actionable insights that helped the marketing team optimize their strategies effectively. Adapting to these changes not only met the new requirements but also strengthened my ability to respond to dynamic business needs. 24. What soft skills do you believe are essential for a successful business intelligence analyst, and why? A successful business intelligence analyst must possess strong communication skills to convey complex data insights clearly to stakeholders. Critical thinking enables the analyst to approach problems methodically and make informed decisions based on data. Adaptability is vital in an ever-changing environment, allowing analysts to adjust their strategies as business needs evolve. Collaboration skills enhance teamwork, fostering effective partnerships across departments. Emotional intelligence aids in understanding team dynamics and responding appropriately to feedback, enhancing overall effectiveness in the role. 25. How do you approach learning new tools or technologies in the business intelligence field? In the business intelligence field, I approach learning new tools and technologies with a structured plan. 
First, I identify the specific skills needed for my current projects or future career goals. Then, I leverage online courses, webinars, and tutorials that offer hands-on experience. I also participate in community forums and local meetups to engage with peers and share knowledge. Practical application is key, so I work on real-world projects or simulations to solidify my understanding. Continuous learning is essential due to the dynamic nature of technology, keeping me adaptable and informed. In this video, we've explored the top 25 interview questions and answers for aspiring business intelligence analysts. Each question is designed to help you prepare effectively, showcasing your skills and knowledge in the field. By understanding these common queries and crafting thoughtful responses, you can enhance your chances of success in your next interview. If you found this information helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Your support means a lot to us and helps us provide more valuable resources for your career advancement. Thank you for watching.